groin or shoulder sweep. So this one is going to be starting off in a plank position and you're going to get into a groiner, meaning you're going to bring one foot to the outside of the same hand. So I have my right foot on the outside of my right hand. And then once you're here, I want you to check your back leg. If you need to drop your knee because of the extension out of your hip is too much, drop it. But if you can, try to extend the leg, keep that leg nice and long and push the heel back. You're going to get more length out of your hamstrings, out of your hip flexor, and get a little bit more activation of your quad and glute there. And then what you're going to do, same hand as the foot that's forward, so for me it's my right side, you're going to sweep your arm back towards your tailbone and come back in. Now if you struggle with the stability in your arm, what I want you to do is put more weight onto your foot, bring your hand a little bit closer in, and do the same thing so that you have weight, equal weight distribution between hand and foot. Do three to four or three to five on one side, step back to your plank, rest if you need, and then into your other side. Same thing, if you are struggling with the stability, if the back knee can help you a lot, focusing on T-spine mobility, so right in, the middle of your shoulder, right in the middle of your back, as well as stabilizing the shoulder joint. So while you're here, thinking about, can you follow your hand with your eyes as you come all the way back as far as you can, and all the way back to the bottom, all right? Opening up literally full body warm-up right here. 